Hi, and welcome back to Get Your Shift Together speaker series for energy management for the F generation. Those seeking freedom, but stuck in frustration, fatigue, and freaked outness. I am your host, Martha O'Regan, embodiment coach for the Awakened Shift Head, supporting those who are tired of trying to think their way to health, happiness, and success, and actually create it through embodiment. We are so excited today to have a wonderful speaker that um, I've known for several years, and she is just delightful. And her name is Tuck Self. And um, welcome, Tuck. Before I give the bio, I'll give a quick shout out. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Martha. Happy to be here. So Tuck Self is the Rebel Bell and Southern voice for bold self-expression. As a self-proclaimed personal growth enthusiast, she is also master catalyst and cheerleader for change and transformation. As a woman born in the deep South, Tuck was groomed to be a perfect little Southern Belle. She was raised to do what was appropriate and to make everyone around her comfortable, even at the expense of her own happiness sometimes. Her life journey has been one of finding her own authentic voice and boldly expressing that in the world full tilt boogie and on her terms. As a sought after coach, mentor, inspirational speaker, workshop facilitator, and passionate specialist in the human energy design system, the Gene Keys, and the Golden Pathway, Tuck inspires her clients to be who they are, full out and without apology, to squeeze as much juice and joy out of life as possible, to trust their voice and power and live with bold self-expression. Yeah. Yeah. Tuck's Rebel Bell philosophy, which we will hear about today, is uniquely shared through three dynamic pathways, which create a solid foundation, insight, and joy that align with your truest path and most authentic essence. We invite you to take an unparalleled leap of faith in yourself, grab your petticoat ruffles, and join us for a fun, inspiring, and informative time together. That is my beloved Tuck self. Welcome. Yay, yay. I'm so impressed with you. A minute ago, when you were talking about shifting and shift heads, I thought, that's good. <laughs> I'm, I did it well, didn't I? I, I haven't slipped up in a, quite a while. I, you know, only when I get really upset. I don't slip up too often. Yeah, that's great. So, Tug, just like as all of my speakers, um, I will lead with the first question, and then we'll take the interview from there. So, will you please share with our listeners, a moment or an experience where your shift hit the fan. Mm -hmm. And it was in that moment that you absolutely knew that you had to do something to get your shift together if you were truly going to have a life of joy, vitality, and abundance like the gurus tell us is our birthright. Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> in answering the question, I you're thinking, it's just not that simple. I'm a math major. We say things are simple in theory and a little more challenging in practice. Um, there was that one moment when shift hit the fan, but that one moment lasted for about six years. <laughs> apparently, I am a slow learner, maybe and a slow student. But it's, it's funny, Martha, because this was back in 1990. Four. Like that's a long time ago. And when I reflect back on it, the moment was such a powerful, powerful transformative moment in my life. I, um, like you said in the introduction, lived a life of perfection. You know, I walked straight and narrow. I did not color outside the lines. Listen to me and look at me and you go, how is that possible? <laughs> But I found a way, I did, I found a way to do what I needed to do to make sure I was taken care of and secure. But I have always had this voice and this intense passion inside of myself that needs to move, that needs to talk, that needs to dance, that needs to sing. And I had just squanched that into this little vessel form of mine and I did just what I was supposed to do, straight A's in school every sport you could think of, every organization, went to the college that my mama wanted me to go to, came out, married the man I was supposed to marry, had the kids, had the cars, had the house, had the country club memberships. I mean, we were the couple that everybody said, oh my God, 
look at Tuck and Bruce. They are the perfect couple. Well, perfect we were not <laughs> because I had gotten to this place where I was letting the people outside of me, all my conditioning control my thinking and my feeling and my emoting. And when I quit work after, I think it was 15 years of working the same job, my now ex-husband gave me permission to not work anymore so that I could stay home with my children. And I suppose that I was not used to freedom and I really didn't know what to do with myself. So I found myself in an affair. Six years, six years. And the moment, the transformative moment, because Martha, I had six counselors and it wasn't until the, the last counselor said, you know what, Tuck, you got to quit coming to see me. You are a counselor junkie. You just like to come and listen to people tell you what you need to do to fix yourself. So you're going to go home and you're going to take Deepak Chopra's seven spiritual laws of success. And you're going to read those and you will either come back and you will sit with me and you will make the decision to change or you just need to keep doing, you know, just go away because this has become a habit with you. And I remember the seven spiritual laws of success. Such a deep message for me as far as life purpose goes and knowing that I am a unique human being with a unique voice and a special talent and that all I needed to do was to find the people who were waiting to receive that special gift and talent for me and just friggin' go do that even if it was fun or a hobby that that was this thing called success and i'm going to put in quotes perfection that i was seeking that i never could find and the other thing for me was i was so distraught that i didn't love my husband anymore i thought there was something wrong with me i thought i had done the worst thing in the world no one would forgive me everyone would hate me the entire world would talk about me for the rest of my life but i had these things called feelings and emotions for the first time that i had let out in that six years and it was like like oh my god i had passion intensity what do i do with it and I think that, that in the defining moment of knowing that my feelings are mine, they're valid, they shift, they change, and my work is to shift and change with them and let them flow naturally, you know, appropriately, albeit appropriately, but that that was normal and that I could be who I wanted to be. That was the, the defining moment. And so to leave that beautiful, perfect marriage and uproot my two sweet, adorable children could, to go do what I really wanted to do was a really hard thing. And um, I say they were the most painful, grueling, because I was in the, I was crouched in corners crying, like, God help me, I don't know what to do. But it was also the most transformative moment of my life so it wasn't one moment it was like six years and a lot of work but so worth it so worth it thank you so much tuck and i think that you know i, I would imagine there are many folks on this call right now that can totally relate you know and those of us raised in the south and and all of that that you know we did the right thing and we did what we were supposed to do for very very long and then most people, when they do wake up and have their shift, it is that moment where they just realize they are so not happy for whatever reason. And I love that you, you said, and I put, you know, exclamation marks, my feelings are mine. And I love that because I think people are, we were taught too early, they're, there, there, don't cry, they're, there, there, just keep it low. You don't need to, yeah, you don't need to tell everybody that or whatever. We were taught to stifle those feelings. And um, I've said on one of these interviews already that I, um, you know, work with clients all the time and I will, part of the process is, is see if you can activate the feeling of joy inside. You've got it in you. Let's see if we can re remember what joy feels like. They're looking at me like, I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, and after a couple of days or sessions, they'll come back and say, oh my gosh, it was like Sunday at two. I felt joy. I, I felt really joy. I, it didn't last long, but I felt joy. And that little by little starts to unfold and, and they start to recognize that feelings are okay. It's part of how we're designed. Yeah. So I love that you said my feelings are mine. I think a lot of people, if you could just yeah. make that your cheerleading mantra, yes, your feelings are your own. Um, and Tuck, um, I would love to 
to kind of shift the conversation now that you've given us this wonderful information about the um, the dynamic pathways that you reference here, the human design and the gene keys. Tell us a little bit, give us a nutshell of that. Let me see if I can give you a nutshell. Um, you know, coming out of that marriage, I decided rather than to go back in the corporate arena um, with an accounting job, making money, I said, you know what, I went to work in a health club making five bucks an hour as a personal trainer, um, AKA the fitness director. And while there, um, I, th I, you know, it was that time, Martha, that I decided to go on this, um, I, I, I don't virtual global search for personal empowerment, mentors, workshops. And I began to just comb the country, going to different people in different workshops to empower myself. I am a voracious student of life. And it was on that journey that I was introduced to Bob Proctor. Um, I was introduced to the coaching arena. I was introduced to so many of the tools that I use today, one of those being human energy design. And um, so the three pathways are the human energy design system, um, the golden pathway, the gene keys and the golden pathway. And then in becoming a coach, I remember thinking as it's supporting people to um, move past the shift that comes up in their lives. What worked for me? I set up a series of seven steps that worked for me that allowed me to um, put myself first in my own life, gave me the tools that I needed to use to remove the blocks and the obstacles that were in the way of my living my highest expression and making things work and keeping things shifting, if we're going to use that language. Um, step number three was getting absolutely clear on what my purpose in life is and what it means to constantly have the freedom to allow that purpose to morph and expand as I morph and expand. So I will say my, my life purpose is to be a catalyst for transformation. So that was the third step. The fourth one was feeling your feelings getting absolutely clear in my own body, what are my thoughts, what are my emotions, what are my feelings? Because again, you and I said, everybody was constantly telling me what I thought, what I felt, and what I was supposed to do. And I'm thinking, hell, I'm the only one in here. So that's step four. Step five is coming to a deep understanding of how to boldly go after what it is that we want, claim what it is that we want, step into that field of uncertainty, and to do what it is that we love to do. Step six was finding the right mentors and masterful coaches and workshops because every student is looking for the teacher, right? When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And then step seven, for God's sakes, lighten up and have fun. So I created seven steps for any individual to go through to continue to open their heart, to open their life, to live their highest expression. And they're evergreen. So like I'm a work in progress. And as, as advanced and as masterful as I think I am, I still have to go back to step one and come all the way through periodically so they are evergreen. So it's those seven steps, the human energy design system and the gene keys and the golden pathway. And um, I don't know if you want me to speak for a minute on the human energy design system briefly, um, because for me, in 2003, when I was on one of my mini excursions um, as a personal growth enthusiast, I was introduced to the human energy design system, which absolutely changed, catapulted, and catalyzed every cell in my body and every facet of my life because what I was given was a personal, energetic signature and blueprint and map from my life and my personal development. It was um, a genetic blueprint of my strengths, my talents, my genius, my purpose. So on this sheet of paper were all of the things that I could look at and go, yeah, that's me. That is me. I am affirmed. Let me take that person out into the world. But it also very clearly, and I say very clearly, set up for me a clear understanding of where 
internally and externally. I had blocks, conditionings, patterns, um, vulnerabilities that were keeping me from allowing myself to have the things in life that were just waiting to come to me. <laughs> so I'll pause for a minute to see, because you know, I could just talk forever. So, <laughs> And I love listening to you talk. I'm just sitting here with this big grin on my face. You probably can't, I know you can't see it, but it's, I, it's, I love listening to you talk. And when you introduce human energy design for me and, and our community here, it, it was so, I like the word affirming, exactly what it, it is. It gave me permission to be me and th to, to discard those things I was trying on for size to be yeah. and re realizing that it really was a struggle to try to be those things because it's not part of who I am. So it allowed me to really morph into myself without permission, without permission, without apology. Yeah. You know, it, it was a, it was really eye opening. And then when you add in, you know, that it's a, it's a lifetime process and practice. It's not something you, Oh, this are, this is who I am. We're done. It's, it's continuous. And you, you know, as, as you know, what we, what I do is I dig into it a little while and let shift happen and change and, and wake up to some new areas and then put it aside yeah. and I pick it back up and play with it and then put it aside. And I think that it has just been very powerful for me. And um, I, I just thank you for that. So, yeah. It's a, it, it is a fascinating system for many, many, many reasons. And I'm, I will say that again, I think the affirming, the affirming aspect of it, not just for me, I mean, I can speak to myself, to my own experience. It, when you listen to me, you can tell I am a very emotionally expressive person and all of my life, I'm not kidding my mother, my siblings, for God's sakes, Tuck, would you just tone it down you're too emotional, stop it, sit down, be still. And someone put my chart in front of me and hot dog it, I am an emotional <laughs> manifesting generator. And I thought, well, that is part of my charm to be emotional and moody. Now, I'm not saying I should just go dump my energy everywhere. That was so affirming for me. And I experience that with everyone that I introduce human energy design to. There is always something some aspect in their chart about their way of expressing themselves that feels like their natural essence that feels so confirmed and affirming. And I, I feel like so many of us, Martha, you know, we search, we quest for that Holy grail. We're searching for something out there and to have a tool or a system to affirm to me what's inside that's true, that comes from the creator, that will align me with that source energy so that life, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, it can be ease, <laughs> but I know that when we have the right tools, when we have tools that support, you know, our movement through life, that support us in navigating change, shifting, and, um, ch you know, ch changes in circumstances, we do it with a lot more ease. And I actually am of the belief that we can transform conditioning and we can move through fears. We can do it with joy and we can do it with fun and we can do it with enthusiasm. I actually believe that I am one of those happy whalers. Like, you know, people, I've had somebody say, Tuck, do you ever get down? And I go, oh my God, yes, things happen to me all the time. But you know what? I just go with the flow of what I feel in that present moment. And if that is to cry, I'm a whaler. So I will just go wail until I feel better and I, you know, transcend that moment. So I love it. Um, I am in Beaufort, South Carolina, for those of you who don't already know that. And we have an air station close by that um, we have jets that fly. So if you hear a loud sound, it's the jet. And we here in our community call it the sound of freedom. Oh. So um, what will, if I hear it go by, I may say there's some freedom and one just flew by. So um, it gets kind of loud at times. So Tuck, um, you're, I'm, I know that your free gift has information around how folks can get their human design uh, profile. And I also want, so I want you to speak to that in just a moment, but also I know you do um, 
one-on-one -on -one coaching with folks through their human through their golden pathway human energy design system as well as retreats so you might just mention a little bit about um, more about where you are and what you do so that if people want to connect with you um, how can they start to learn about their mapping their human energy design and their golden pathway I hope I can keep my train you know I understood you to say your summit is for people who are just beginning to realize who they are and there's sh their shifts for the very first time um, I am 63 years old and I have been doing this for a long time yeah. and sometimes I forget beginners mind one of the things that I do love about the human energy design system, because you know I love that as well as the gene keys and the golden pathway, is the simplicity of it, Martha. For people who are just waking up, just experiencing their first shift, it is truly a beautiful, very simple system. If they get in, you know, I don't like to say I read for anybody. I like to say I support people by communicating and sharing the transmission of their own chart to them through a human energy design session. I am a trained coach in listening and communication. And I think a lot of, I know a lot of the work that I do in communicating someone's chart to them is I'm listening beyond the words to what's being asked and then interpreting the chart and giving that information back to the person so that they can be affirmed and feel more comfortable in where it is that they're going in this new shift in their life. So I, I wanted to say that. Um, I am currently in Surfside Beach, South Carolina, because I have learned through all of these amazing tools that God, the creator, the universe, whatever word we want to use, indeed has my back. And that if I, when and if I am in alignment with my higher self, this very blueprint that we're talking about, life will flow. And I have many times dove in, is that a word or do you die? <laughs> into the field of all possibility and uncertainty, like a year ago when I sold my home, not having a clue where I was gonna go. And I've ended up in the most extraordinary, beautiful little cozy, cozy little family beach with turtle ponds and gazebos, five blocks from the ocean. And I have a retreat center. I have a separate unit that I intend and am wanting to use to invite people for weekends or longer, but particularly weekends, to get away from the hustle and the bustle and the stress and the anxieties of life, husband, children, work, because I know from my own experience that until I allowed myself to be in solitude, in nature, you know, and I think people will do it different ways. That was so empowering and centering for me in getting clear about who I am and what it is that I truly want to do on this planet. So that's the intention with the retreat center. Um, there's a lot of information on the website. There's some, you know, there's a cute little video that will show the place and introduce the place to you. So I'm inviting people to come to get time away for themselves and or to come and allow me to mentor them and work with them around their human design charts and then beyond that the golden pathway and the gene keys did that answer your question yes that, that did um so that and that's awesome because it is so that human design it's so personal um, but so clear also. So it's so wonderful to have. When you first did my human design, I still have the recording of it and I listen to it periodically and it is, I always hear something different, but it is so amazing how much information is in that one little picture based on the moment that I was born. That's what blows my mind. And how, and, and how, it, you know, it just so clear. It just creates such clarity, and I and I love it so much. So I'm I'm excited about the offering that you um, have put aside for folks to to sign up for um, to receive their golden pathway or their human design chart. Speak a little bit more about the free gift. Um, and when you go to the page, the bonus page, um, you will have the opportunity to request a copy of your um, personal imprinting. And to do that, you need to know the date the time and the location of your birth. So 
put that information in and your chart will be sent to you. I've included a video recording of a interview that Christine Laureano, love Christine, basic botanicals, go look her up, um, did with me a couple of years ago around the human energy design chart. I have my human energy design starter kit. So you will learn that there are five types in human design, profile types. Every profile type has a strategy that allows one when they live that strategy, good God almighty, to move right into the flow of life. So that's included. And then I have two classes, AKA slash podcast that I did, where there are individuals with me in that podcast who represent each one of those five types. So you will not hear me teaching you, you will hear them giving you the experiences of what it feels like to be those types themselves, which is you know, to hear experience as opposed to someone <laughs> pushing the information in, I think is, is, is delightful. And they, are, they were delightful um, participants in the podcast. So that is the bonus. And then if someone wants to go beyond that, Martha, I would love to do their human energy design interpretation because I, for one, get so excited when I look at somebody's chart. I have this uncanny capacity to see immediately the highest expression of who people are. And like I said in the beginning, I have my pom-poms over here. And I am people's greatest cheerleader for living that highest expression and transforming and shifting, because we keep using that word, all of the obstacles that are in the way with joy, with creativity, and most of all, ease. I love it. And I know the listeners are so excited about your enthusiasm for, for life and for what you do. And it is, is, and I've known Tuck for quite a few years, and this is how she is for everything. So she is truly authentically a cheerleader and and this just enthusiastic um, individual and when she she teaches here in my retreat center here in Beaufort South Carolina has taught many groups here and she will do their profiles prior to um, showing up for the class and without meeting any of these individuals when they walk in she can connect this picture on a paper to that individual and know more about them when they walk in the room than they know about themselves. Okay. And it's uncanny. It's uncanny. But she has, and, and it's all, and people are blown away because she can look at this chart and there's this kind of a, uh, a pretty version of one behind her on the screen, but she can look at that chart and know more about you than you know about yourself. It is really, uh, it's a blast. So, you will not be able to hide from yourself. We've had people in Martha's workshop that go, I just don't, I don't know if I identify them with that, but everybody else in the room is going, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, we can see it better than they can. So I hope all of our listeners will take advantage of your free gift because it will be extremely valuable and, and utilize it in any way that they can, whether they embark on their own journey or work with you or another human design facilitator, highly, highly recommend that this is that all of the listeners take that time to um, pull it together. So if you, you know, as we talk about the shift and, and shift hitting the fan and, and getting our shift together, you know, shift is happening. Every milliblip of every milliblip, you've heard me say this, is, is there's change. There's change happening. And if we're ha it's happening unconsciously. It's happening because it's how we're designed. Can you imagine how much more powerful you can be if you do it consciously, intentionally, and with our design? I mean, it just, it gives such, uh, such power to be who you be um, with that human design system. So I, I love that you've given this to everyone and I know that everybody will take advantage of it. So any final words that you'd like to say to, um, before we wrap up, Tuck? You know, I feel like one of those bob heads. Like bob heads on the are. Um, you know, lighten up. I, I, I have spent so much of my life so friggin' serious, working so hard to get it right. And I have discovered that there is so much joy and creativity and playfulness when we lighten up and take 
the dynamics and the beautiful expressive aspects of who we are and boldly, boldly share those with other people without apology. And um, yeah, You'll, you know, we just, we don't ever get it done. We're all works in progress. So lighten up, lighten up. And um, if anything that I have said resonates with you, do get in touch with me because I would love to share with you the beautiful, expressive aspects of your highest self and support you on your journey. I am complete. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tug. This has been a delightful uh, half hour together, and I so appreciate you taking the time to be with us and to share all, all the, your knowledge uh, about the human design. So thank you listeners for being here and I hope that you'll join us for tomorrow's interview on this Get Your Shift Together series. If you have friends or family that aren't signed up yet and you wanna share this with them, please feel free to send them the link and get them to sign up so that, that, that you all can be in this shift together. Cause there ain't, nobody's getting out alive. In this together. <laughs> So thank you very much for being here. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.